OK, let's make a time lapse video. I'll press the menu button and in the application list I'll choose the time lapse app that I've downloaded from the Play Memories camera app store. Now you'll probably enter this in the standard mode for the first time but I'm choosing custom to give me increased flexibility. Press the uh, trash can icon to uh, um, modify the presets. Here I'm going to shoot in the still rather than movie mode. I'm going to select my interval uh, in this instance to 5 seconds. And I'm going to choose my 240 as the number of shots. OK, now let's just press the center button to uh, enter that. And also press the center button a second time uh, to go into the camera interface. Now here's the secret, is we need to press the menu button a second time to uh, um, access the additional options, such as self timer 2 seconds. OK, we're going to choose an aspect ratio of 16.9, movie format, quality, raw, manual focus. Uh, we'll set the optimum ISO for the sensor, which is 100. And moving forward uh, through to the final menu, focus magnifier. This gives me uh, a last chance to uh, check the focus before starting the time lapse. Now I'm in the manual uh, uh, priority mode okay, for shooting this video. So I'm just going to press the shutter release, wait two seconds for that uh, timer to work. And then now every five seconds it's going to take one still raw image that I can create into a time lapse movie later in post-production. OK, if you're new to time lapse, you might want to uh, let the camera make the movie. OK, now I interrupted the time lapse and I can go back into the menu. I can uh, adjust any of the settings okay, by going to application settings if I needed to create a, a second time lapse. Or I can press the menu button and then simply exit the application. Mm -hmm.